It was the first day of summer 2009 when 16 year old Scott Roberts and his buddies decided to mark the end of 10th grade by heading to a friend's home. The friend's parents were out of town and that was part of the plan. They started playing drinking games to see who could take the most shots of straight liquor. One kid had taken 21 shots. Scott had never been drunk before, so it probably didn't surprise his friends that he was the first to pass out. The friend scribbled lewd messages across his body and kept playing. When one kid woke up at 4.30 a.m. and saw that Scott had thrown up and urinated on himself, he moved Scott off of the carpet to let him sleep it off on a tile floor. Later that day, Scott's dad heard pounding on his front door. He went to a window and saw the police. Scott's dad worried that the boys had been caught doing something stupid, like egging cars. Scott, it turned out, wasn't in trouble. He was dead from acute alcohol poisoning. His blood alcohol level was at 0.32 more than four times the legal limit. By the time his friends realized that something was seriously wrong, it was too late to save him. What happened to Scott wasn't a freak accident. Every year, 5,000 people younger than 21 die because of alcohol-related accidents, including alcohol poisoning. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that 90% of the alcohol teens drink is consumed during dangerous binge drinking. Even after you stop drinking, alcohol continues to enter your bloodstream and circulate throughout your body, causing you to be more intoxicated and poisoned. Kids, and a lot of adults, believe that sleeping it off is the best cure for being extremely drunk. That myth costs lives.